Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and welcome back to my channel Fun with Data Science. So today we are going to discuss about the random variables that what are random variables and basically let me tell you that there are two more types of uh, two, two types of random variables that are discrete and continuous and we are going to see about them also. So like uh, let, let, let's have a definition for random variables and then we will going we are going to have the definitions and some examples for discrete and continuous and after that I'm going to take a revision of all the things which we have covered till now. Okay, so like, okay, starts. The ra a random variable is a variable taking on numerical values determined by the outcome of a random phenomenon. So yeah, this was a like, you can say it is a definition written everywhere. When it founds, like I found a random variable is a variable taking on numerical values, right? Take this point, numerical values determined by the outcome of a random phenomenon. Okay, so just, just let me tell you that the the term random variables variables what these variables mean okay let's say i define an equation that let's say x is equal to 4 plus okay and let's say uh okay just just let, let re it is this and let's say i write x plus 4 is equal to 7 so what what is x x is a variable right when we are going to take this for that side, so I'm going to get the value as 3. x is equal to 3. So this is a variable. Now let's say in this, the first equation which I have written that x plus 4 is equal to 7. In this, I have a single variable that is x. Now let's say I write one more uh, can say equation and in that I simply write x plus 2y is equal to 5. So in the second equation, I have two variables that, is, that are x and y, right? So these were the variables which were uh, which we were already introduced in our you can say in our younger classes where we have studied that this x and y these are the variables. But yeah, in random variables it's not like that. You can say the random it's uh, in random you can say it is a function. Now let me tell you how. First let me tell you that uh, we denote the random variables using capital letters. So you can note it by capital X, capital Y or capital Z. But it's usually, you can say, it's usually denoted by capital X. So we almost take capital X only. So just let, let me raise all these things and simply write. And yeah, okay, let it be there for some time. Then after that, I will raise the, this one also. So let's write a capital X here. Now, here, let's say I want to see that uh, would, uh, would storm come tomorrow or not. So let's say I write uh, this like, so here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do a mapping, right? So let's say it will storm. I have two probabilities with me. First is it will storm and second is it will not storm. So that means tomorrow the storm will come and tomorrow the storm will not come. So let's say I defined one here and let's say I defined a zero. So what's this? This this is a thing which we call as mapping, right? So this is a function like x can be treated here as a function, not a variable which we are defining. So basically this is a random, you can say it's a function. Fine. So just, just once more read the definition and as I have given the example, you will be able to understand it more better way. A random variable is a variable. Taking on numerical values, see it has taken numerical values, right? Determined by the outcome of a random phenomena. So I have taken a random phenomena here that is, will storm come tomorrow or will storm not come tomorrow? So this is a random phenomena which I have taken and for this, we need to wait till tomorrow that we need to check tomorrow that will it come or not, right? We can't like decide it today only, but we can have a probability that yeah, if it will come so one is the probability zero is the probability will not come so this these are the things let's say you can make it as 31 31 is a probability that it will come that storm will come tomorrow right and let's say 20 is the probability that it will not come through so these values are totally dependent on you that whatever the values you want you can't take so it's something a random variable is a variable taking on the numerical values determined by the outcome of a random phenomenon so here what I had taken is a random phenomena for the storm and after that what I have done is that I have taken some numerical values right these are the numerical values only so this is the definition a random variable is a variable taking on numerical values determined by the outcome of a random phenomena right now let's let's take a one more example and uh, 
Okay, I must write it here only. Now write. Let's say I have again defined a x. Okay, now what is this x? This x is like uh, you can say we are going to roll a. Okay, we are going to have a toss. Okay, so in toss we have two things. It's head or it's tail. Other than that, we have no third option, right? So what I'm going to do is that uh, like. Uh, Okay, so what I'm going to do is that let's say number facing up when uh, when I toss my coin, I'm going to do a fair toss, and for that what I'm going to do is that I'm going to mention this, and let's say if one comes, then we are going to say that it hits, that that it is hit, and let's say if zero comes, we are going to say that it stays. So what is this? This is the probability for coming of hits and coming of tails. So this is what is called a random variable. Like what I have taken, I have taken a random phenomena, and in that I have defined some numerical values. So this is called a random variable. Now I hope you got a little bit definition and yeah, a little bit intuition that what's the random variable. For the things and in the detail, we will be discussing all the things in the further videos. But here, what I want to tell you is the only a little bit. Think that what are random variables, and I want to give this a uh, little examples for that. Okay. Now, as I told you that random variables are of two types. So now let me take you to the definitions of both the variables. Uh, okay. So first one was discrete, and second one was continuous. So I'm going to give the both definitions. Okay, simultaneously. Okay. So okay, a discrete random variable has a countable number of possible values. So. Like the examples which you were ta taking, that it will storm tomorrow, like the storm will come tomorrow or not. So that is a countable number, right? That, like we have only two cases: it will come or it will not come. So we have only two values, that is zero and one. And yeah, two values are always countable, no doubt in that. So basically, that was a discrete random variable, right? So a discrete random variable has a countable number of possible values, whatever the values are there. A discrete random variable is a variable that has countable number of possible values. Let's say we are going to roll a dice. Okay, in dice we have six outcomes. Either it can be one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? So we have six outcomes, and yeah, they are countable number of possible values because in a die we have in a dice we have six faces. Like uh, either it will come one, two, three, four, five, or six. So yeah, rolling of a dice is also a discrete random variable, right? It cannot come 1.5 or it cannot come 2.5. No, it's it cannot come in a dice. When we roll a die, we either we simply get one or we simply get two. We can't get anything between one and two. Okay, anyhow. So these, so this is the example for discrete random variable that it is. Ha it has a countable number of possible values, right? Now let's move to a further definition. The probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between zero and one. Okay, so the probability for each value of a discrete random value, a discrete random variable is between zero and one. Now just see here. Uh, okay, just let let me go a little down. Right. Okay. So this one. Let's let's change the color. It's so boring writing with a simple simple color. Now what I'm going to do is here I'm going to roll a Dice, and the number of outcomes which it can has are six. So six includes one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now, what is the prob probability that uh, one would come? What is the probability that two would come? So the probability is always one by six, right? So yeah, does one by six lie between zero and one? Yes, it lies between zero and one. So what I was saying that the probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between zero and one. Each value. So when you are going to divide all these values, like uh, the probability for each of the values is one by six, right? So it would always be between zero and one, right? And the sum of all the probabilities is equal to one. So when you are going to do the probability for each of the values, now let's let's say, okay, let's do the thing uh, here only, and just let me have a little bit of space. Okay, let's say we roll a dice. In uh, we have six outcomes: one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the probability for each one of them is one by six. Yeah, that each one of them will come, and the probability for them is one by six. So we need what we need to do is we need to write with this one by six. 
six times okay so i'm doing the same and i hope you all are doing the same with me okay so i wrote one by six six times right because here what we are going to do is that and this, uh, we are going to check the sum of all the probabilities is equal to one okay so we are going to do this now when i'm going to take the sum of that so you all must know how to take the same uh, simply we will take the lcm and after that we will add all the numbers so after doing that what i will get is six by six and when i'm going to cancel this what are the output i'm going to get as one so yes this satisfies our definition for a discrete random variable that the sum of the probabilities of all the probabilities is equal to one right so let me again repeat the whole definition here uh, okay let's let's take the highlighter and it will look more nice okay so a discrete random variable has a countable number of possible values so we have in our example the probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between 0 and 1 and yes we have this also when we roll a dice so the probability for each value is 1 by 6 right and the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1 and yes we have checked that when we are going to sum 1 by 6 the probability is 1 uh, and the probability is 1 so this was whole about the discrete random variables and i have also told you the example that when we roll a dice when we do a toss and like yeah the examples like this which are countable okay now okay so i need to do one thing that i simply need to take this upside let me see that can i do the thing same thing okay okay let it be and yes now let's move to the continuous random variable so a continuous random variable is a random variable where the data can take infinitely many values okay so just just let me change the color then i'm going to tell you the example for the same and okay fine it's fine now what is a continuous random variable it is a random variable where the data can take infinitely many values infinitely you all know right but what is infinite okay so let's let's take an example that uh, let's say a number of inches it will rain tomorrow let's say we have we will have a rain tomorrow and what is the number of inches that it will rain tomorrow so let me write number of inches it will rain tomorrow okay so let's let's say i have written this now what is the number of inches it will rain tomorrow it has infinite values let me show you how let's say it will rain uh, 1.1 inch let's say it will rain 1.11 let's say it will rain 1.111 let's say it will rain 2.1 then 2.11 or we can go till infinite values right we can have many 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 values in this and this will turn to an infinite value so this is what i was telling that a continuous random variable is a random variable where the data can take infinite many values yeah at this example can take infinite many values why because we don't have a thing like it will rain uh, we don't have a proper uh, thing like uh, we can take it will rain 1.1 inch 1.11 1. 1. 1. 1.111 2.1 2.11 2.11 2.11 we can't say anything and it has infinite values right so this is an example of continuous random variables that it is a variable where the data can take infinitely many values so i hope you got the point about the discrete and continuous random variables so let me take you once the upside and let's revise all of the definitions which we have studied and let me take a highlighter and uh, let me take a green color okay so uh, hold on hold on and let me take a, okay fine so now a random variable is a variable taking on numerical values determined by the outcome of a random phenomenon so this was the proper definition of random variables next we move towards a discrete and variables and we saw that it has a countable number of possible values the probability of each value of a discrete random variable is between 0 and 1 and the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1 
and after that we move towards the continuous random variable is a variable is a random variable where data can take infinitely many values okay so if someone asks you that what okay now, now tell me that what's the difference between continuous and random variables so uh, sorry continuous and discrete so i hope now you will be able to tell the proper dif uh, difference between discrete and continuous random variables with a proper example but you will be able to tell this thing only if you have listened the video very carefully okay so don't look here and there just focus on the video right now let me take let me take you to a little bit more thing for the probability and probability distribution now let me introduce you to these things a little bit right so for that what we are going to do is that i need to okay actually my writing is a little okay now let, let me make a x and y axis so yeah this is my x and y values and okay so fine now uh, what i'm going to do, take is that let me define x here somewhere and let me erase it and let me first define x okay so what x is here x is equal to number of facing up on a fair dice right so uh, this was the x and x is our random variable and now by the time you all must have got a idea that which type of random variable is the so this is a discrete one okay i have already taken the same example for it now okay so let let me go down let me go down yeah right so yeah this was the thing which i have written x is equal to number facing up on a fair die now i'm going to draw a probability distribution for this so this and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to name all these so uh just let me know that uh in the fair die we have six outcomes right the six outcomes are as one two three four five and six we have these six distributions right on this x axis and uh, what is the probability that this will come so the probability is always one by six this is right right now i want to see that like uh, if i'm going to do the thing okay yeah uh one second okay highlighter and yeah this one okay and where's the rectangle right so let's say what i'm going to do is that okay it it does not it does not look like a bar graph right so just let me raise that and how do i do the thing okay so oh okay just just let me erase the things and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to simply make the lines okay i'm going to simply make the lines let's say the distribution is something like this now my one will exactly what is the probability that my one will come when i'm going to roll my die so the probability is one by six so it is going absolutely till one by six this two will be also going till the same three four five and six all the six will be having the same probability that okay this value will come yeah no sorry i mean that this is the probability that this value will come right so this is a you can say this is a uniform you, you can say this is uniform how you can say you can say it in a way that we are having the same number of bars okay same number of bars for a probability that is 1 by 6 so you can say that this is the prob uh, okay so just let me write the correct spelling so let's say p r o b a b i l i t e probability distribution so let's say this so no not let's say this is right this is a probability distribution and it is of a uniform form because it has all the values at a proper one by six level 
because because this is the only probability that your uh, one would come or your two would come three four five or six this is the probability for the numbers for which are which are to be come in your dice when you are going to roll that okay so i hope you got the point that what is this what is this uh, like probability distribution and this is the uniform probability distribution now we'll be talking about them in a detail in the further videos and we will also be covering the non uniform probability distribution so this was about the random variables right and this was about the graph now i said that we will revise the things and okay let me just devise the formulas here so so for the alternate variance formula we uh, okay where's that whole chart which we have made yeah this one so what's the formula for the population mean it is denoted by mu and the formula is summation of i is equal to 1 to n x of i upon capital n and for the sample it is x bar is equal to sigma i is equal to 1 to n x of i upon n so for variance it is denoted by sigma squared and population variance and the formula is none different only thing is that x i minus mu whole square and in sample variance nothing is different we simply have x i minus x bar whole square and for the standard deviation the standard deviation is the root under root and sigma square it is under root of variance square after that we discussed the alternate variance formula and the first one this was we have already discussed after that we were having two more formulas and the first was sigma i is equal to 1 to n x i is square upon n minus mu is square and the second one was minus different different things so uh, now if you want to see that how these formulas were derived and what were the things that we have taken so you need to watch the previous video, previous videos i'm not going to cover all these things today right so today we have discussed about the random variable discrete and continuous and i have told you a very little about population distribution right okay pro sorry probability distribution so this is all for this video if you have any of the doubts you can rewatch the videos or you can just um, ask the doubts in the comment box so this is all for this video children thank you and bye bye